Welcome everyone to the Mortal Kombat 11 Jade tutorial. I'm Ava Maria XO. Most people just call me Ava. I'm a competitive player and content creator for Dash Fight. I'm from the United States. And I've participated in tournaments like ESL, Pro Comp, and many of the community hosted events. I've been playing Mortal Kombat 11 since its release two years ago, and I continue to play and stream now. Before we start, be sure to subscribe to Dash Fight for more character guides and check out their website for all things FGC. Stick around until the end of the video to see which character guide is coming next. So let's get started by talking about Jade's best single button she has in her kit. I've tagged them all on the screen and I will go through each of them one by one. Her stand one is a 7 frame high that is actually plus 2 on block, so it makes a great tool for staggering the opponent. Her down 4 is arguably one of the best pokes in the game. It is a 10 frame startup which is pretty average, um, but what makes it so great is the spacing potential. As you can see, Jade creates a lot of space for herself by pushing the opponent back with her down 4. And it couples well with the next normal I have tagged on the screen, her back 2, which is a high, a multi-hitting high, um, but the two of them together are excellent spacing tools. And then of course her down two or her uppercut, which is potentially one of the best, potentially the best one in the game. Um, it is a nine frame, so it's very fast starting um, down two. It's great for anti-airing and uh, it's only negative nine on block, so it's not getting punished because of the pushback. Jade actually has a lot of good buttons for anti-airing, but the ones I prefer to use are stand 2, back 2, and down 2. I think all of them work equally as well, um, except only stand 2 and back 2 can really be converted off of, unless you're down 2-ing when the opponent is very high in the air. So stand 2, back 2, and down 2. Very easy to anti-air. Jade has several viable variation options. Um, the one I use most frequently is Air Razor Ray with Delia's Dance and Vanishing for the Teleport. Um, but many of her other abilities are very strong depending on the matchup. So for example, if you're fighting a character you really want to zone out, you might go for her Adinian Spark, which is a low projectile. Um, if you are fighting a character like Cetrion, who is trying to keep you out, you might use Pole Vault with Amplified Blazing Nitro Kick to punish a lot of her zoning options, um, including Vines. So she's, there's a lot of room for creativity with her variations and just a matter of preference and like I said, the matchup that you're playing. A lot like Cetrion, Jade is a character that has the potential to be great from anywhere on the screen. So whether she is max distance throwing projectiles, or just outside of sweep distance keeping her opponent at a comfortable range, if she's in your face applying pressure with plus frames, or her mix up, she has a lot of options for variety of playstyle. Jade has several great strings for applying pressure on offense. I've tagged them all on the screen and we will go through them one by one. Um, her string 1, 2, 4, which is a high, low, mid, has a crushing blow requirement. It's only negative 6 on block and leaves her right beside her opponent to continue applying pressure. Her 2, 1, 2, a high, mid, and then a multi-hitting mid at the end is only negative 4 on block and creates some nice distance, depending on what it is she's trying to do afterward. Um, first, we'll talk about actually the fourth one I have tagged, which is her forward three, four, three. Low, mid, mid. It's a good string for mixing the opponent because it starts at the low. It is a 16 frame startup, so it is more of a string that you'll be shimmying the opponent with. Um, like I said, low for mix-up. The only disadvantage to it really is that there is a flawless block gap um, on the second hit. 
The majority of her pressure will hinge on the third string tagged on the screen, which is her back 3-4-3-4. Three, four, three, four. This string is where she will be getting the majority of her pressure and mind games. Um, it is a dial-in string, which means the buttons have to be pressed quickly in succession to one another in order for the string to come out. But on block, the string is plus five. So the final hit is flawless blockable. There is a gap in between the third and fourth hit, but that's where the mind, the mind games are created. So for example, you might back three, four, three into Delia's dance, which is a low and opponents who are releasing block to prepare to flawless block the fourth hit of the string will get hit by Delia's dance. That's just one example. You might stagger the string, um, just rely on the plus frames or go for mix. So this is where she's getting the majority of her pressure. For mid screen BMBs, there's not a whole lot of diversity in Jade's combos um, because her launcher is actually very unsafe. So the majority of the time you will be doing a string into either Amplified Razor Ring or Delia's Dance. Amplified Razor Ring does do a bit more damage um, and give you a bit more plus frames, but it costs a bar. So the good thing about her, like Cetrion, is that her combos are going to leave the opponent re-standing, giving her plus frames. Uh, so it is her turn again. She gets to continue applying pressure. So these are not going to knock the opponent down. You may do something like back 3 4 3 into Delia's or back 3 4 3 into Amplified Razor Ring. As you can see, the opponent is still restanding. I'm plus 10. I get to go again. Um, same thing with forward 3 4 or 2 1, any of those into Amplified Razor Ring or Delia's Dance for her mid screen BMBs. So the focus here is not really getting big, flashy, high damaging combos, but rather um, sh shorter combos for slightly less damage, and um, but with the advantage of having plus frames and leaving your opponent re-standing. Like I said, she does have a flashier, higher damaging mid-screen BMB, but the launcher portion is very unsafe, so you won't be getting this quite as frequently. Um, when you do though, the combo will be, like I have tagged on screen, forward to one, a dash up into stand four, amplified raise a ring, into back to blazing nitro kick and it'll look like this the crushing blow combos is where jade will get the majority of her burst damage so we will start off with the down two crushing blow combo it's actually pretty simple start with a down two gonna dash up stand two into Amplified Razor Ring, which is back forward one Amplify, and then end in down two, and it'll look like this. She also has a crushing blow on her forward throw, and so the combo will be forward throw into dash up stand four, back forward one Amplified, and end it with down two, and it'll look like this. Next is her 1-2-4 crushing blow combo. The first hit of the string has to whiff in order for the crushing blow to be triggered. Um, so we'll do 1-2-4, dash up into stand 2, back forward 1 amplified, into down 2, and it'll look like this. You can actually be pretty creative in the corner with Jade's combo. She has a lot of different combo paths, um, so you can really just mix things up, experiment with things, um, and come up with fun combos to do in the corner. She can juggle pretty easily with her down one, with her two one string. So um, there are so many different combo options in the corner that I really can't go over all of them. I will show you the potential, however, that she can get for damage in the corner. 
um, with the combo I have tagged on screen. We'll use as an example. I'll start off with a jump in two, into forward two one, stand four, into back forward one amplified, stand four three, into Delia's dance, and it'll look like this. So like I was saying before, Jade is a very strong character. She doesn't have too many weaknesses in her gameplay. Um, I would point out, however, that her damage is considerably less than the majority of the roster. So if big bursty damage is something that appeals to you, you might want a character like Spawn or Baraka because that is just not Jade's archetype. She will be using zoning and spacing um, in a slower, more methodical gameplay. Um, even during her rushdown sequences, when she's landing hits, she's not hitting very hard. So that is something to keep in mind. I do think she's a great character for beginner. She is very, very easy to use and she has some great tools that set her apart from a lot of the rest of the cast. For example, her anti-airs. Many characters struggle with anti-airing in this game. Jade is not one of them. Her um, range is excellent probably one of the best in the game so uh, she's just she's got tools that make her very beginner and user friendly and um, make her a great choice for somebody just getting started with Mortal Kombat 11 so that is going to conclude our Mortal Kombat 11 Jade tutorial as always you can check out all the things shown in this video in the text version via the link in the description if you liked the video, please leave a like or comment below with your thoughts, and thank you so much for watching.